Welcome. My name is Michael Mastro. Uh, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, Vastu Creations. Uh, today we're going to look at the chart for a uh, world famous French singer, songwriter, actress, model, astrologer, graphographer, Francois Hardy. May she rest in peace. If you look to the eastern horizon when she was born, you would see the Constellation associated with Leo rising at 19 degrees. Of course, we're going to see how the planets are operating in her chart, and then we'll look to see when they're operating and what could be what could have been done to strengthen the chart. So first we have uh, Sun ruling the chart, placed in the uh poorly placed in the sixth house. So this gives some weakness to the sun. It's only at three degrees. So any planet that's less than five degrees or more than 25 is said to be an infinite or, or old age state and cannot protect or promote its own significations. So sun uh, uh, is representative father. And when it's weak, usually um, the father is absent. In this case, it's true. Uh, sun is the major indicator for health in this chart, and it affects the autoimmune system, which can affect uh, different types of cancer. Uh, in her case, it's lymph cancer. Uh, then we have challenging moon. Moon is uh, ruling the 12th house uh, of losses and expenses and hospitalization. And uh, this can affect um, anxiety, and she definitely has anxiety had a uh, strong uh, anxiety um it it in this case it is close to the rising sign degree just barely and it uh, does afflict the seventh house of marriage so she did have issues in her marriage and it afflicts the second house which has to do with throat and throat cancer which she had uh, then we have weak afflicted by uh, K2 Mars. Mars is uh, ruling the house of good fortune uh, placed in the career house. So this connects um, the career with uh, good fortune through ambition, drive. She worked up until her 70s and 80s, a uh, long, very long career. Mercury is ruling the house of wealth and fame and stability in the marriage. Um, it uh, is placed in the house of creativity and entertainment. So it gives her wealth and fame through entertainment, singing, songwriting, acting, modeling. Then we have weak infant Jupiter. Jupiter is ruling the house of creativity and entertainment placed in the first house so connects her life purpose with this uh, desire to create and entertain other people through her again um, singing and songwriting because it's only at two degrees it limits the number of children so she only did have one child a son we have strong venus it's, it's the strongest planet in her chart uh, ruling the house of success through fine arts, performing arts, healing arts, um, gives her, again, success through her beauty, modeling abilities, acting abilities, singing, songwriting, and astrology and, and graphology. It's the healing arts of astrology and graphology. Then we have weak old Saturn at 27 degrees. It is ruling the house of marriage and partnerships, contracts, um, and so there was some separation in her, her marriage. Then we have a uh, challenging Rahu and Ketu giving the desire for, uh, in the 12th house of, for desire for, um, looking into spiritual growth through astrology. Um, it did give her some anxiety, felt feeling, uh, like she didn't fit in. She was born, um, during, uh, World War II and, and in an air, air raid, I guess. Um, and it gives her uh, insights into healing. K2's in the sixth house. Let's look at the timing of events. For her first big hit was Message Personal, 
uh, and her, also her son was born in 73 during a Jupiter-Mercury period, Jupiter uh, indicator for children, uh, Mercury indicator for wealth and fame, um, ruling the house of wealth and fame. In 79, her other hit uh, gin and tonic uh, during a sun period, sun again bringing name and fame, ruling the first house. 81, she got married and her dad died um, during a Mars period. Uh, Mars is uh, ruling the house of father. 80, uh, let's, and, and good fortune. And then 81, let's see, um, in 88, she got separated during a K2 period. K2 bringing, it's sitting in the house of divorce and separation, sixth house. Uh, 04, she was diagnosed with throat and lymphatic cancer, and her sister committed suicide during all during a K2 period. Again, K2 sitting in the house of health issues, uh, separations. And then in uh, 2012, she came out with another hit called L'Amour 4, um, and she also had a book um, with this title. And this is during a Mercury period, again, bringing wealth and fame, ruling the house of wealth and fame. In 2015, June, uh, she had an accident and she ended up uh, in a, she was put into a coma uh, during a Rahu period, Rahu uh, sitting in the house of hospitalization, unexpected events. 2000, uh, June 11th, 2024, she died uh, of cancer. Um, and this is a K2 Rahu period just coming out. And then uh, the, if you'll notice in the um, transit chart on the left, the inner circles where the planets were when she was born, the outer circles where the planets were when she died. You'll see that Rahu and Ketu are almost exactly at the rising sign degree. And they are afflicting the sixth house of health, the eighth house of death-like experiences, and the twelfth house of endings and the end of life. What could be done to strengthen the chart? Well, she was involved in some charity work, which would transform Rahu, K2, and Moon uh, and helping women. Uh, the rest of the planets could be strengthened by my favorite remedy, a kavash, which is a silver locket containing the Devita yantras for her benefic planets. If you'd like to get a kavash, get a reading, or learn Vedic astrology, you can go to www.bostucreations.com.